All right, what is up, guys? Um, so, I essentially already recorded a part two on this. This is the Nelson Precision uh, G44X slide. And uh, obviously this makes it so you can run a dot on your G44. Um, had great success with this when uh, without a dot on it. And then I recorded the second video just a few days later once this uh, hollow sun came in. And well, it, it didn't do too hot. Um, I, I'm hoping partly because it had about 1200 rounds through it without any cleaning of any kind. That's like the perfect timing for someone to come back on a snowmobile. So I'll be, uh, I'll be right back with you. Alrighty. So, uh, now that he's gone, um, like I was saying, I did shoot a part two video to this already. It didn't do too hot, had a ton of rounds through it without the iron sight. So once I put it on there, um, it just didn't feel right. And I, I also didn't want to publish a video showing a product that is already going to get criticism across the board, but I wanted to give it a better shot than what I was. And I felt like if I posted that video, it was mainly going to be pretty much bashing the product, um, which I'm not doing. I really like this actually. Uh, so I cleaned it up. We're all cleaned up now. Um, and yeah, I took out a bunch of ammo when I did this. And, and yeah, I have fucking, or sorry, maybe I'll try to cut that out. <laughs> I have a freaking bump on him because uh, my ear pro is mounted to it. And I didn't want to take it off for the 800th time. So, so these were the two that were doing the best last time. We got some Agula 38 grain. I would like a heavier bullet, but this is what I could get at the time. This stuff is 1,280 feet per second. So, as we know, you got to have that, that number pretty high up. Next, we got some Remington Golden Bullet. And, if I recall, this is 1,255. It's in the fine print right there. So, yeah. And this is... Uh, I forget what this bullet weight is. Of course, it's rubbed off right where I want to read it. So, um, yeah, I can't read it. So, hopefully, uh, I guess I'm not super familiar with Remington Golden Bullet. So, hopefully, it's a a standard bullet weight for that stuff. But anyways, I figured uh, I'd come out here and do this again because got it cleaned up. As you can see, we have our, uh, our um, Apex trigger in there. Real nice triggers, love these things. Let me give you a little pull. A little creep, a little more creep, break. I like these triggers a lot. Um, and then, obviously, we have our Hollow Sun 407 that we got from Brownells. Big shout out to Brownells. Love them. Uh, they do a ton for everyone in the gun community. And you might not even realize it, which is kind of shitty on your part. Just saying. Um, so, swing over to Brownells. Become an Edge member. Get free two-day shipping on your orders. For, it's 50 bucks for a whole year Dude, like three orders pays for that and that works across the board 
So if you want to go buy, say they get in some uh, 55 grain PMC 556, and you want to buy a thousand rounds of it, guess what? It's shipping for free. Um, if you want uh, anything, if you want to buy 50 different shotgun tubes, they're going to ship for free. So swing over to Brownells. As always, link is down below for Brownells. And uh, yeah, let's um, get a couple mags loaded up. Uh, we'll start off with this Agula stuff and see how it goes. So hopefully it goes good. Alrighty. Oh, is this thing in? Okay. Um, had to make sure it was in 4K. So we got 10 rounds of the Agula 38 grain. And hopefully, yeah, it looks like you'll be able to see me. See what happens. Hopefully the mic's back. Um, so as you could see, we had two failure two jacks. And then it was running pretty good. Um, well, I won't say it was running good. It ran the rest of them. So uh, I'm going to load up another mag of the Agula. I have another mag around here somewhere too I got to find. And... We'll just blast through them, see what happens. Alrighty, got uh, two more mags full of uh, the Agula stuff, and we'll just see what happens. Oh, so hopefully, hopefully the microphone's back. Um, so originally when I got the Pro Mags, I hated them because they sucked. And then they started working flawlessly out of nowhere. And for some reason, just this last couple, probably the last like two, two Glock 44 videos, the Pro Mag is giving me trouble again, and it's seriously pissing me off. Because it worked fine. Oh, sorry, that was probably loud. For so long, now it's binding up again. So, let's see what happens.
So we're having issues. Can't get this damn mag to work. So I'll start, I'll load up the Glock mag and get back to you. We'll just use that one. All right, 10 more rounds. Bag you up. My target fell over. Hopefully the mic's back. So as you can tell, with the Agula, it's right on the edge of being like perfectly fine. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna load up one more 10 round mag of this stuff, and then we'll switch over to the Golden Bullet. I'm trying not to keep this super long. Hopefully that wind isn't bad either. I just yeah. alrighty, dudes. Um, Last 10 round mag of Aguila. Let's see what happens. All right, hopefully the mic is back. Um, as you can see, the there's just not enough power to fully cycle it. Nelson does offer a adjustable guide rod assembly. I think if you're gonna do this, that's gonna be the way to go. Because this is a OEM guide rod in here. And you should be able to tune it to work. Um, which I think in this case, with what this is, is an acceptable thing. Uh, if you don't want to have to do that, then check out the other 22 pistols, honestly. Because, I mean, obviously I had a Glock 44, and I like the Glock. That's what I like. That's what I carry. That's what I shoot when I come out. Um, let's uh, let's get some of this golden bullet put in. If I if memory serves correct, I want to say this is forty grain stuff, but um, I won't know that until I get back to a computer or I'm on Brownells on my phone. So I'm gonna load that up and see what happens. All right. Nelson Precision Slide on the G44 with a Hollow Sun 407 from Brownells. 10 rounds. All right, 10 rounds of Remington Golden Bullet. So, let's see what happens. Hopefully it's good.
All right, hopefully the mic's back. Um, so that went better. Uh, that first failure to eject, I could feel that that round was underpowered compared to the rest of them. Um, I think if you're going to use the Nelson slide, I think these are 40 grain bullets. Um, I think the heavier the bullet, the better you're gonna be. I think you have to be at at least 1250. I think these were 1255, I think. And I think if you don't want any headache, then spend the 40 bucks, get the adjustable guide rod set up, and you should be good to go, honestly. I'll probably end up picking one of those up because I would like this to shoot better. I'd like it to be more consistent. I'd like to come out, shoot it, and not have any issues with it. Um, as a product, this slide is awesome. I think it's sweet. I think it's very innovative considering Glock, you know, just didn't give the option with the standard Glock 44. And yeah. Uh, it's a small business, so supporting small business is always good. I think this is a go if you're willing to put the work in. If you want to buy this, and I mean, if you're going to shoot CCI stingers out of it, it's going to run. So there's that. Uh, so if you're going to buy this, like I said, just order the adjustable guide rod spring and take a day, a range day, to go out, take some various different types of ammunition. I mean, we shot this stuff through it with uh, without the dot on it, and it ran great. So, uh, trial and error, I bet you each gun will be different. Uh, some people will probably buy these with all the OEM internals and they'll just run federal bulk ammo through it and it's going to run, which is beyond me, but yeah, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I think it's a great product. It's really cool. Uh, I will have a long-term video on it because I obviously got this uh, I don't remember when a couple months ago a few months ago probably but life happens you get busy I've seen the people commenting on the previous videos asking about how it runs I see your comments um, I just feel like there was no ease or no good way to say like I wasn't happy with the video I felt like I was kind of bashing it give me time to re record it and yeah so hopefully anyone that commented asking this will answer your questions um, and yeah I mean, it's just going to take some tuning, um, changing out the springs on that, that guide rod, find the ammo that works for it. Obviously, you're going to want it to be a budget ammunition. I mean, you don't want to be shooting uh, the Stingers or uh, uh, what's the other CCI one? I don't remember, but... You don't want to be shooting the piss and hot stuff because that stuff is uh, expensive. And yeah. So if you're asking me, it's a go. Um, get it. Be ready to, to get it working for you. And other than that, I think a lot of it also has to do with optic choice. I've seen guys running the uh oh the sig romeo zero or something like that 
it's a real light one you can tell it's light just by looking at it but this is a little heavier um i believe brownells carries both of those so if you're looking for a red dot make sure that and that, this goes for anything not just red dots make sure that you're dming me on instagram because i can save you a bunch of money so i mean if you don't want to save money then don't that's fine but anything uh anything from the links down below shoot me a message and uh, i can probably help you out so and if i can't i know someone that can so yeah uh i'm gonna keep shooting and i'll record it but it might not be in the video so unless something cool happens so yeah uh make sure you like and subscribe stay tuned will be a whole video on this and yeah thanks for watching